are right now so you have launched a website and you have put in all the hard work and efforts and you want to expect visitors right how come there are no visitors well launching a website is an exciting time but it can also be very stressful you may forget to include something you may forget to exclude something and you may do something incorrectly but worry not with my website launch checklist we are going to make sure that everything is done correctly and you have ticked all the right boxes to make your website a perfect launch let's get started things that we are going to talk about in this video will ensure that everything is up to the mark and your website is ready to go so i'm assuming that you're using wordpress engine because wordpress being the most popular one and i use wordpress in my website first thing first you need to set up the home page because when a visitor arrives to your website the first thing that they see or the impression that they get is how nicely your website is presented to the world to the people is the content displaying properly there are no broken images so on and so forth second thing when you launch your website wordpress gives you some dummy data for example you know hello world or something delete all that because that's totally not professional so remove any test images or uh, test data or test links that may be lingering around you don't want that you only want your website to look clean free of clutter and without any broken links we know that when you're using websites especially with wordpress there are plugins as well plugins make your life easier but there may be many unused plugins on your website that you may not be using so deactivate all those plugins so that your website can launch faster now if you are the admin of your website make sure that you have set up the proper admin email address because people might want to reach out to you and if you don't have the email set up correctly for example instead of having some gmail or yahoo for example so you can have admin at your domain name or contact at the rate your domain name so that people know that they are contacting the right person speaking of emails you can use many uh, email addresses to reach out to you you can say contact at domain.com uh, help at your domain.com what's your favorite email address or the most standard email address that you have used is it contact at your domain.com or uh, info at your domain.com let me know in the comments down below now set your time zone correctly you can use your own time zone or you can even use the time zone of users browser so when they enter something or let's say they are expecting something to show on a particular time it matches their browsers time now we all want our website to rank better or higher in search engines make sure that you're allowing search engine indexing so that the search engines the crawlers can index your website and users can access or find you on the internet with wordpress you get an option to to enable or disable the comments so let's say you've got a page called um, about us for example that page only talks about what your company does and what your company let's say when it came into being so you don't want comments on that page right you would want comments let's say on some um, post that you have created or a blog uh, let's say something about your day-to-day -day life and you would want to receive inputs from the user so if it is just a uh, let's say a page that does not require users input or comments or unnecessary comments you can just go and deactivate the comments option on that page now one important thing that is easy to miss is when you launch a website with wordpress there's a very popular tagline called just another wordpress site remove that we don't need that set the favicon of your website now site favicon site icon slash favicon is an icon that appears on your browser so let's say you have chrome open or firefox open so there is in a small icon there's a representation of your website branding so there are let's say five tabs open your icon or the image or favicon would appear on the corner of your 
browser tab that would let the users know that this website is yours it will stand out from the rest as opposed to not having any icons so uh, it's all it all it is all part of how you brand your website you may have a contact me page that allows users to reach out to you contact you so you may create a contact me form but make sure that you test it out make sure that you are able to receive emails uh, test it thoroughly because if you have set up a page let's say contact me page and users are not able to reach out to you because something is not configured properly what's the point when you search when you are searching for something and you hit a snag page not found oops what do we do then well if the page is not found rather than having some blank or boring 404 have some informative content inside of that 404 maybe uh, add a link or a helpful link if the users are lost or your page is broken the user just you know get 404 uh, better to have some proper uh, content or maybe customize it or brand it or make it look a bit more presentable rather than out of the box 404 page that is not very intuitive and doesn't help the users as much set up 301 redirects and what that does is it, it automatically redirects the user from an old page to a new page so let's say you have changed the url from uh, url a to url b and when users visit url a the old url and you don't want users to visit that url what you can do is you can implement a 301 redirect that would automatically redirect the user from an old url to the new url and that would happen implicitly you probably don't need 301 redirect at the beginning of your website because you're only starting so but make sure that you have that thing implemented in case you know down the line you would like to redirect users from page a to page b so make sure you have something of that sort implemented security i cannot speak enough about security security is paramount to success of any website there are websites that allow you to create free ssl but that's only good for three months you'll have to go back and renew it if you want to be hassle free just you know you can buy ssl certificates for a very small amount as well now the question is what is ssl and why do i need ssl uh, ssl certificate would boost the security and trust trust in the user in the recent years most of the websites who do not have ssl or HTTPS on their website or on their URL they don't they're not deemed as secure so let's say if you have an e-commerce website or you're making some transactions make sure to have SSL certificate that would essentially boost security and user trust you can also install free SSL certificates uh, but that free certificate is only good for about three months or so, three months or something you have to again go back and renew it uh, you can also purchase ssl certificates they are they don't cost an arm and a leg but they you get that nice padlock on your website and also builds trust and users feel comfortable browsing and if they are buying something they they, they feel good this should not be overlooked however small it may look however simple it may look and that is make sure that your links are working all correctly they are not you don't have any broken links on your website because if you have set it up everything correctly and users just come across that 404 page or you know it just doesn't look good if you want your websites to rank correctly make sure you have implemented the seo that is search engine optimization if you have proper meta tags if you have proper descriptions and your website would be indexed in you know major search engines such as yahoo google uh now bing well not a big fan of bing but uh it's backed by backed up by microsoft so i mean if you have properly implemented the seo techniques you would get a nice boost in your search engine ranking the other thing to not to overlook is set up the legal page for example if you're making some transaction or something uh you know to save yourself legally uh if you're let's say providing some service or some advice uh, you can add that page in there saying well you you won't be held entitled or uh, or or accountable let's say if you if you are providing a financial service for example right 
and of course uh, in that regard uh, the results of individual may vary from person to person from person A to person B so you know you don't want people coming back to you just because you have uh, given an advice to someone and they are not getting the expected results so I mean you can just set up that page like no disclaimer or something every website needs a proper backup policy to make sure that the data is backed up properly you can have multiple backups if you have some backup mechanism make sure that your backup schedule is working at the same time and your backup is stored in, in an offsite in a different location because let's say you're backing something on your website and your website goes crashing it comes crashing down you it also you know takes all the backup with it i mean your backup is also uh, not secure so make sure that you're backing up in a different location so that if something happens to your website your backed up data is is safe and you should also know how you can restore the data from your backup onto your website please let me know your favorite backup mechanism that you're using and when using wordpress we all know that how important plugins are make sure that you regularly update the plugins or you can even set automatic uh, plugin updates so that the plugins that you're using on your website or are, are always up to date they are not stale they are not outdated and you get the best best outcome best results from those plugins and you can you know make the most out of it speaking of plugins let me know in your comments down below your favorite wordpress plugin that you cannot uh, leave without something that has been very crucial to the success of your website and in the end i would like to emphasize that you need to test test and test again to ensure that nothing is broken on your website be it you know css or any missing content or uh, or essentially just test your website against the checklist that i have outlined to ensure that your website is ready to go and hit the market and make its presence felt all right i hope this tips or checklist were helpful if you found this video helpful do let me know in the comments down below and give me a thumbs up and thank you for supporting this channel i'll see you next time and just before you go if this video has helped you in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.